What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Upper Deck D Cup Hockey 1 box break number 6 sold out. 31 total spots, guys. Everybody gets around Team the NHL. Last box of the case. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names and the teams. We removed the, gold, uh, we removed the Seattle Kraken, of course. And here we go. Let's roll it. 4 and a 4, 8 the hard way. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight times eight eight D low down to Steve Locke. Eight eight one two three four five six seven eight eight sharks lightning at the bottom. All right, eight eight. See how it matched up. So D'Lo with the Sharks and the Knights. Steve Locke with the Flames. Kevin Keller with the Leafs. Predators. Sean Maddock with the Devils. Down with the Blue Jackets. D'Lo with the Senators. Rangers and Oilers. Kev with the Panthers. Nicholas with the Capitals. Sean with the Bruins. Paul with the Avalanche. Sean with the Ducks. Kevin with the Sabres and Canadiens. D'Lo with the Jets. Kevin Keller with the Blues. Anthony with the Nucks. Kevin with the Islanders. Mike Tower with the Blackhawks. D'Lo with the Penguins. Stars, Red Wings, Kevin Kelly with the Hurricanes, uh, D'Lo with the Yotes, Nick, you have my Kings, and then Kevin Kelly with the Wild and Flyers, and then Steve Locke with the Lightning. All right. And there's nothing wrong with trying, Paul. I don't know if Kevin, if you want to trade. Kevin says, no, not this time. But I would really like the Kings. Kings have a solid checklist, actually, obviously. I mean, minus, of course, you know, Gabe and, and Kaliev. But there is a lot of Gretzky in the Kings uniform, so it's cool. I wonder what a Gabe Velarde RP goes for now that he's having a much better season this year. Probably a couple hundred bucks, I assume. True, but I'm not sure if, if uh, Nick is even watching. Oh, there's Nick right there. Yeah, you just never know with the wild, honestly. I mean, unless you're interested in any other teams, Nick. He does have your flyers, Nick. I don't know if you're interested in some flyers. Cool. Sure, we're closing. 
I mean, it's the last box break of this, Kev. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Stick to what you got then, guys. Yeah, kings aren't bad here. I don't know. I, I haven't stocked any of the bigger, like, Canadian or bigger breakers I used to follow and break with uh, when I was all into, you know, doing the uh, hockey-only channel. So I'm not even sure what some of these teams sell for as bigger teams. But I might have to look up on eBay and see if there's, like, kings ones. The bow and buy round technically would have been the true RPA, but we did get the subset out of 12, the gold. So, I don't know if that changes anything. There was a dual autograph Lafreniere, which is obviously, I'm sure, a big time hit. So, I don't know what this box is going to contain. I would figure it's going to be more veterans than anything. Could still get a nice RPA to 249. I mean, obviously, because there are some good players out of 249 that didn't make the out of 99 cut. But, I guess we'll find out. But, technically, the bow and buy round... Was probably the biggest hit, I'd assume. You know? Um, but, like I said, we didn't get the true RPA, but we got the subset out of 12. But yeah, I'm assuming hopefully a book. Something like that. Usually in a whole case, you usually get like the one big RPA. And some good vets with some book, maybe. Um, like I said, I don't know how they configured it this year. Because, I mean, it's been three years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping more for like a book or a big veteran or something. Yeah, or like a Gretzky. Like I said, it's been a little too long. This one's being a little tough for me today. Come on, man. I was doing them so smooth today, too. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. But yeah, like I said, I wish we could have got a lot more. I would have came in extra early and did a bunch of bigger teams with you guys, but I'm happy we got at least a whole case done. When we had our hockey-only exclusive channel, that shit was fun as hell. Ugh, you had the picker team case and only got a suitor base? Out of all the wild to get, you got Suter. Dang, that's rough. Did you get any Gabe Velarde or Kalia? Also, what would what what are the wild going for to pick your team? I'd assume in a six boxes are probably like a box price, right? Like twelve hundred maybe. All right, we got John Tavares to two forty nine. Kevin Kelly with the Leafs. So yeah, let's say we didn't get a big rookie RPA, but I, I recognize that color behind this card, and I think that's Kings. John Leonard to 249. Oh, not bad. What what were what were the Ottawa Senators and the Rangers then? I'd assume they're all pretty close price though. I think Oilers would probably be a couple hundred dollars too, Maple Leafs. I guess, yeah, I guess it makes sense if they're only like five or six hundred bucks. Uh, John Leonard to 249. Uh, Sharks, that's D Low. And there we go, this is pretty nice. He's a good player for the Kings. He has a wicked shot. We got an honorable numbers. Honorable numbers. Arthur Kaliev, 31 to 34. Nice. Mm. So there you go, Nick, my kings. Whoa, what is this? Not the craziest player, but this card looks awesome. Stanley Cup signatures to 50. How about a little Chris Osgood? Dang, that's a cool card. That is an awesome card, though, right? Jesus. That looks sweet. You know, it looks like there's a line coming across here, but that's actually part of his jersey. Like, a, or part of his mask. 
It looks like a, a print line, though. Very nice card. Red Wings going to D'Lo. Got a Jason Robertson quad. Relic to 99. Uh, Dallas Stars D'Lo. And last one is Brandon Hagel to 249 for the Blackhawks Mike Tower. All right. Well, that's what I figured. I figured it'd be something like this. Very beautiful card there. Kaliev, Leonard, the Tavares. So, yeah, I think that Bowen Byron might have been the biggest one with the dual autograph, at least rookie-wise. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, that was number six, Cup Hockey in the Books, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thank you.